Hey guys, it is Chris Elliott over at Remax Action Real Estate. Hope you're doing well. Hope um, you're enjoying this beautiful weather we're having today. Wanted to come at you real quick for our March or, or May, I'm sorry, May 2019 market update. Uh, just to give you guys a little bit of update what's going on in the real estate market. So as we do always, we'll start off with a couple stats looking back a month into April because those are the numbers that we have. Uh, April was a very similar month numbers wise to, uh, to what March was. A couple stats that popped out though, average days on market uh, dropped from 39 and a half days in, um, in March to 31.41 days in, uh, in April, which means that homes are selling quicker, uh, which we're certainly seeing in the marketplace. And also end of month inventory, so the amount of homes left on the market at the end of the month uh, was actually down 10% of April uh, in April compared to April of last year. So less homes are being left available on the market. So what does this mean for you? Uh, we are definitely in the spring kind of summer market, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's certainly in full effect. Um, if you're a seller, just recognizing that if you're waiting, uh, that's, a, that's a bad decision because that now is definitely go time. Uh, also a friendly reminder too, um, and this is relevant for a lot of price points, we are 30 days away approximately from the kids getting out of school. So it's super hot right now and we'll continue to sell homes throughout the summer, but just recognize that uh, home sales do slow down a little bit in the months of June and July, just because uh, you know kids are out of school, folks are on vacation, they're kind of their mind is getting away from uh, from the home search, they're, they're just on to summer activities and we usually see it slow down just a little bit in those months. Um, also a reminder too, and we talked about this last month, stick to the fundamentals of good real estate. You know, anytime we get into a hot market like we're in right now, we do uh, see bad practices start to creep up. You get sellers that grossly overprice their home. Uh, they don't do the proper things to get a home, you know, show ready. Uh, they, they don't properly stage a home. They don't clean a home up. They don't do, you know, necessary upgrades or repairs to really get top dollar. And the scary thing is you, you may actually sell your home. Uh, but you're probably not going to sell for full price. So I always tell my clients, hey, we're in a very hot market. Don't let that be an excuse to to not do the proper things to, to get your home for the, the highest amount. But use that as an opportunity to really maximize your sales price by, by doing all the things that we should be doing to get a home ready and, and you know once a home is on the market and all that fun stuff. Um, also too, if you've got a home, especially in a price point and, and certainly the lower price points, where we know that a property is gonna sell the first weekend. A lot of times what we're doing now is we're doing a delayed reviewing of offers, which just means that, hey, we're not gonna list the property on Thursday and take the first uh, you know offer that, that hits the inbox that afternoon. We're gonna let the property be on the market for the, fir the whole first weekend. We're, we're gonna let the property be on the market for the first couple of days before we review offers. We wanna let an opportunity for as many people to get in the front door as we can and potentially get multiple offers or get a better offer than if we just took the f first offer that, that showed up. So something to think about. Uh, if you're a buyer, man, uh, it is tough out there for you in most price points. Um, you know, in the, the the two lower tiers of price points, the, the upper tier is a little bit soft right now, but man, anything under, I would say 500 in most uh, spots of Richmond, it, it's tough out there just because inventory is limited. So. Uh, what can you do? Speed is key in this market. You have to be quick uh, when a property hits the market to jump on it quickly, just because a lot of sellers are not doing a delayed reviewing of offers. Um, you know, they're, they're taking offers as they come. So you want to be quick in the front door and you got to be quick to be able to make a decision and pull the trigger on a house that shows up that is a good fit for you. Um, we're telling our clients, be ready to make your best offer up front. Uh, this is the not the market to be in where to try to haggle and negotiate. Um, especially on a hot property because you're going to lose, unfortunately. Uh, there's going to be somebody that's already missed out on a couple homes that's going to be ready to best your offer. So be prepared to make your best offer up front, uh, both in price and then also in terms. Uh, and one of the things you could talk about with a real estate professional is, hey, what maybe I can only go so high on price or we only feel comfortable going so high on price, but what terms can I offer this seller um, to make our offer more attractive. If you've got a good realtor working for you, one of the things I always like to do is call the seller or call the, the listing agent and say, hey, what does your seller want to say? I know more money is always better, but what are the terms? Do they want to stay in the property for a certain amount of time? Do they want to close quickly? Do they want to take the refrigerator? Do they want to leave stuff behind? Uh, get creative on what you can offer these sellers to, to put your offer at, at the top of the pile. And you know, if you are somebody that is needing to sell before you're going to be able to purchase, 
Um, going out there writing contingent offers is going to be a waste of time. Uh, once again, in the majority of price points in our area, uh, we're just seeing where sellers are not wanting to entertain contingent offers just because there's too many non-contingent buyers out there. So if you're somebody that is going to is trying to buy and sell, just recognize most likely, unless you're you're able to buy before you sell, you're going to have to have your get your house up on the market, get it under contract. Hopefully, negotiate you know loan closing or rent back period of something of the sort that allow you to stay in the property so you don't have to move twice. Um, but you're going to have to be able to make a, a, a non contingent offer or an offer that's not contingent upon you getting a contract on your house. So, hope that makes sense. Uh, hope this update finds you well. We look forward to uh, seeing you guys next month, and I hope you have a good rest of this month.